Hello everyone, my name is Betty Dubois and welcome to Butterfly Whispers Pick a Card Reading. If you like the reading, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos. I hope that you enjoy today's reading. Hi everyone, so this is your weekly pick a card reading for the 22nd of February to the 28th, end of the month. So here we go. Um, I believe we've gone into Pisces, correct me if I'm wrong. So we've still got a bit of Aquarius floating around and, um, but yeah, we've gone into the Pisces. So if it's your birthday this week, happy birthday if your birthday falls between the 22nd and the 28th. Um, in front of me, I've got the three piles as usual. So pick one, two or three for the week ahead. We're going to have an oracle message. We're going to have some tarots. I'm going to shuffle these up and probably pick out two or three tarots. And then we're going to have two or three of these cards, probably three of these, maybe more if I need more clarification. So pause the video if you need to and make your selections um, and we'll get straight to it. Okay, so if you chose card number one, pile number one, for February the 22nd to the 28th, this is what your week ahead might look like. Okay, this is peace, serenity. Um, for those of you very religious, you might be going to church, you might be praying. Uh, others that might be into things like uh, meditation. Um, and it might be the message might actually be it's time to sit back and meditate and focus on the journey ahead, focus on the positive things in life. Uh, for some of you, I like to say that this card represents birth and baby and renewal um, and a sense of peace from all of that. We have the dove, the messenger coming in with peace and understanding. Uh, we've got the lamb, we've got the baby, we've got the mother and the baby. We've got this future here. This is like a view to the future. And everything's just calm and, and beautiful. So for a lot of you, uh, you might be um, doing something that makes you really feel calm and relaxed, or you might actually need to do that this week. So for those of you that might be very stressed, this is a message about calming down. So here we go. Let's get a couple of tarots on the table. I'll just move my tea out the way. A couple of tarot messages for pile number one for February the 22nd to the 28th. I already shuffled them for the week and then I split them into three piles just to, um, you know, distinguish between the three piles so that we don't get the same cards in each section. So here we go. If you chose pile number one for February 22nd to 28th, 2021. Hopefully you've got a beautiful bright week ahead. Uh, will we do? We'll start with two and we'll see what we get. Okay, I'm not reading any upside down uh, unless I really feel it's necessary. So we've got the sun, so happiness. So we've got peace. We've got happiness. Um, for those of you, I'm feeling a sense of something about growth something about your job growing, a relationship growing in a good way, in a peaceful way, um, a sense of peace being restored within the family. Um, also, if this is to do with work, it could be that it's starting to take off and grow. And this would explain the Eight of Wands to me. This is a lot of hard effort being put in. Now, the person on the card is looking away from the hard efforts, almost like my job's done, I've had enough of this. Um, it can be communication, this card. It can be a lot of communication going on. It's happy communication. There may be celebration coming up. Let's just get one more. Yeah, you're making a choice here. You've finally made a choice. The Two of Swords, this is the Two of Wands, but the Two of Swords is where you can't make a choice. Two of Wands is where you've made a firm decision. Now, for me, this is Two of Clubs with the Eight of Clubs and then the Sun. This is all about a celebration, possibly a commitment of some sort, a new job, working really hard. Uh, you need to get the right information here. Um, if you've been worried about truth and lies and things like that going on in the background, this is telling me that this is truthful. This is conversation, the truth's out on the table, decisions are made in a good way and starting a new path. So beautiful cards for pile number one. Now let's have a look what we get here. Pile number one, February the 22nd to the 28th. What's coming? It looks like pretty good stuff is coming. Here we go. We'll do three to start with and we might clarify a bit more. Wow, this is the opposite to the rest of the cards. 
Now, on a good note, this would be hospital, this would be nine months of pregnancy, and this would be some sort of procedure required. Now, it could be surgery, it could be medication, it could be a type of therapy is required. Um, and I feel like it's been a long, hard haul for some of you out here. These cards are really opposite to what I've pulled here. Um, so I feel some of you, the message is there's been a lot of disharmony. This can be arguments, this can be anger, it can even be depression. Um, then this is like, it can even be jealousy or searching something out, trying to find answers and then more arguing. Now, in the past, it looks like you may have had some sort of big explosion here uh, between you and people at work or people at home or even your partner. I'm not actually seeing anything to do with a marriage or anything like that in these cards. So it might be groups of people. There may be some sort of discontent going on at work or within a, a big family unit. Um, but the only good thing I see here is that it was a 10. The event happened. There's been a lot of investigation going on, a lot of talking going on, a lot of things going on, a lot of suspicion going on. Um, and then there's discussion going on, but it could get heated. So you do have two cards of gathering and talking and finding things out. This one's all on a positive note. Truth is coming out. Maybe the truth hurts. Maybe the truth is something you'd rather not know. Um, I'm just going to get another one here. I just feel like this, there's too many people butting into a situation here. There's too much, too much going on. Yeah, now we do have a partnership here. Uh, this would tell me that it can be a hospital or a government building. It could be you're going to court. There's a lot of paperwork. There's a lot of um, he said, she said, all that sort of thing going on. And then the balance comes back. I'm glad that that one come out next. If this is something to do with a relationship and there's been arguments in the past, there's been suspicions and fears and things like that, this could tell me that you might need some sort of medical thing. This could be a... A drug of some sort it could be even turning to alcohol to numb the senses um, but balance is coming back balance is coming back I'd like to think that this might be getting professional help and this may be a type of medication or a procedure or a therapy of some kind to help you balance back out again so the fact that peace was the very first message I'd have to say that you've been through this already and peace is coming back information's coming in in a good way you're starting to find things out you're starting to feel good about things you're making a firm decision here and balance comes back so don't get too worried about these because i feel like these have already happened i feel like over the past possibly a long time this might not just be over the last week this might have been going on for some time it is coming down it's starting to come down and get better but anyway, guys, that's what I have for February 22nd to the 28th. Be sure to um, subscribe if you haven't already. It does not cost anything. And I will catch you on the next round. Okay, I've got to start that again. Siri decide to jump in there and stop my camera. And um, yeah, so I'll start pile number two again. So this is for pile number two for Gen uh, February the 22nd to the 28th happy birthday if it's your birthday i do believe we're going into pisces now so for all my lovely pisces people out there happy birthday um so let's have a look what you've got for the week ahead we have you in a transition phase this is where you're starting to change things up you might be changing your whole outlook on life um, you might be 20 you might be 50 um, and you just want to change you're trying to change things now this could be changing your emotional state your physical state it could be change within a relationship with work so there's definitely a lot of change going on for you this week you might have made some decisions ready now these are already all shuffled I just put them back the way they were to restart this reading um, so we'll start with these top two okay so we have love happiness stability 
so you're wanting all of this um, for those of you you might be postponing a wedding because this is upside down the declaration of love um, or it might be just sort of sitting on the fence about it but i'm not going to read them upside down this is declaration of love long-term commitment happiness if you're already in this commitment it looks like it's if it's had any problems or anything it's about to change for the better this is showing me for the better um, we will just get another card just to add on the end now we also have this walking away card. Now for me this is eight of hearts and this would be a wedding, the people gathering and sharing gifts and food and then this would just be the wedding party and the love. So it could simply be an engagement party or wedding. If it's to do with work and that I'd have to say that you've landed your dream job or you've got a promotion and you're walking away from something that doesn't suit you anymore. Um, for some of you if you happen to have a commitment but you also have something going on with somebody else um, I feel that you're transitioning into letting go of something so either you're letting go of the commitment or you're letting go of the other person that's on the sidelines I'm not really feeling anything to do with third party here um, it's more to do with happiness and emotions because even though it's eight of cups and a lot of people go oh no walking away walking away these two symbols here tell me the opposite they tell me that if you are walking away from something I feel that you're walking away and into this full-on commitment type thing and declaring your love for someone um, someone because this is upside down someone might not be on the same level as you so you might be feeling all this love long-term commitment know that where you're going and they might not or vice versa they might say this is all going to work this is beautiful I feel so much love for you and you're thinking yeah I love you but I'm just not quite there yet um, but I feel there might be something you're letting go of this week you might make a decision to let go of something um, now in my normal playing cards the ten of hearts and the eight of hearts and the jack of hearts is all about love, soulmate, get-togethers, uh, celebrations, birthdays. Um, so there's something in there with all of that as well. But it, to do with your health, it's all about getting healthy. And there might be something you need to cut out for your health. Now, whether that's physical or mental health, I am picking up on this being physical health. So you might have been pushing it a little bit too much because this is top of the line with pushing things. Um, and then this is where you break it down a little bit and there's some things you don't want to do anymore. So let's have a look what we've got over here. I'll just give these another shuffle. Okay, pile number two for the week of February the 22nd to the 28th. So it does look like a celebration there, of course. It's some people watching, it's your birthday or it's coming up. Um, or you just happened so you're probably celebrating now beautiful card so don't get don't get um, too down about that um, Jack, uh, knight being upside down in the eight of cups there okay we have love and commitment we have a doesn't have to be but an air sign or a dark-haired woman um, the energy of the card is someone that's all about the truth and rushing in and changing things now you may be going through some sort of forced change here. The seven also could represent holding on to something from the past. Um, and that would explain why we got moving away from the past, holding on to the past. So we've got a bit of conflict going on this week. So it may be that you're holding on to something from the past and somebody else is letting it go or vice versa. You're waiting for somebody else to let something go. Now this woman here, this card can represent someone that's all up in their head. And sitting right beside this seven of clubs, it could be that change is needed around this person. This person might need some um, tender loving care, basically. They might need some help because uh, that can represent someone that's depressed. There's something from the past, something that she's holding on to. But the good news is the seven of clubs with the holding on to the past or a change that has to happen, she's looking to the future. She's wanting things to balance out and looking to a bright future. So... All in all these cards, if you were wanting anything to do with a yes and no type answer on these cards, this would be a yes and there's change that's needed. Um, and just don't be holding on too tightly to something from the past. And if it's not you, it's someone you're dealing with. They, there's talks that need to happen. There's truth that needs to come out um, to balance things out. So that's what I have. I'll just see what was on the bottom of the two decks. 
Yeah, this is a new thought pattern. Now, this can represent depression as well. It can represent someone all up in their head. But the reason it's upright, if it was like that, I'd say, oh, you know. Um, but when it's upright for me, it's like a new beginning. Let's let's start everything new. And yeah, on the bottom of the deck, we got the Eight of Swords. So there might be a feeling of being trapped. Something to do with the Eighth or Sixteen or... Uh, groups of people. I just feel like um, if you're in this loving relationship and you love the person, don't be listening to negative stuff from other people. Um, and it might be the person you're with. They might be listening to other people and having negative thoughts on the situation. It's time to let these negative things go and walk away from them. But I just feel like there's chitty chatter going on in these cards where somebody else is influencing your situation. Anyway, that's all I've got for February the 22nd to the 28th in pile number two. Be, be sure to subscribe. I have to remind everyone it costs nothing to subscribe to the channel. And um, I will catch you on the next round. Okay, everyone, this is your February um, 22nd to 28th weekly reading. Uh, this is your oracle message, some tarots, everything shuffled. Um, and these are all ready to go. Everything's pre-shuffled. So we'll get straight to it. And please subscribe if you haven't already. It does cost nothing. A lot of people think that it costs money to have a subscription. I don't even know why they call it a subscription. They should call it followers or likes or something. Um, because people straight away think, oh no, subscribe, it's going to cost me something. You can pay for a subscription if you really, really want to, but it's not necessary. Um, so here we go. Let's get on to this reading. Good luck, everyone. This is for pile number three, February 22nd to the 28th. Happy birthday if your birthday falls this week, and I believe it's Pisces. So here we go. Strength. Okay, now this could be physical strength, that you might be needing to use your physical strength, strength, mental strength. Now, until we look at the rest of the cards, I'm not too sure whether this is about a health matter, a financial matter, a relationship matter, but the card of strength has come out. So let's see what we get with that. We'll get two to start with. Oh, okay. You're going to need your strength because you have a tower moment coming up. Now, you may have already gone through this because it is sitting on the, the past sort of side of the, the reading. Um, so I think you've been through some Helen back here, but this is showing me you're victorious. You're going to feel successful. You're going to feel your strength returning. Uh, maybe there's some information coming in because this is wands. This can be information coming in that you feel very successful at the end of it all. So let's just see what else you're getting. Oh yeah, wish is coming true. Uh, this can represent Aquarius. We have just finished Aquarius, but um, wish is coming true here. This is reaching for the stars, something new. Now, this could be a job that went down. There could be something at work, something went wrong. This is getting out of there, riding off to victory and getting a new job and being somewhere new. Um, I'm not really feeling anything to do with a relationship here or even health matters, but these other cards could change all of that. So let's see what we get here. We'll get a few of these. Okay, we have a possible third party situation going on here. We've got two males and one female. Um, we do have the soulmate card. I'm going to need more cards than this because this is not really... Oh, okay. We have a married couple and then we have two cards in the middle. This could all be about um, bucks nights, hens nights, girls get together, guys getting together, sporting events. Um, if there's been some sort of injury, this is recovery and everything um, going on the right track. I feel for those of you in pile number three, this is a new job. I feel there's been toxic sort of things going on. There's been something happened where you work currently or maybe you lost your job previously and you're looking for work. Well, it's all systems go now because this is all on a journey to new work and you're going to be very passionate about what you're doing. For some of you, this could be an engagement, a proposal. Um, it could even be a business proposal. We'll just see what's on the bottom of the deck. Oh, this is the opposite. It's not about a relationship. If it is about a relationship, this is where there's a big imbalance between two people. And I'd have to say, if you are... Uh, this is the flirty card. This is the loving true card. And then this is the... 
impulsive card over here. Now, this could be parts of how you're feeling. It could be that you got a lot of love and passion, you're impulsive, you want to rush in, you want to do something, there's a lot of flirty, sexual sort of stuff going on. Um, this could be the one person. Uh, but I do feel there's a couple here. Now, this normally means a divorce. It normally means a separation going on. Now, I must mention that this is a young energy. This is people under 30. They may be, maybe a 35, but I'd have to say that this is people that are under 35. It'd have to be. Um, it could be about children as well. I'm, I'm going to need more information from the top on this because this is really just... Oh, we've got another person, another personality. And we've got all the star signs on the table now. We've got um, every single star sign you can imagine in these cards. We've got air signs, water signs, earth signs and fire signs. So it's not even going to give me the information on that. I feel that you may be public speaking or you may be up the front of a crowd. It might even be a small crowd and you're needing your strength to do it and the sun comes out like you've got a lot to say and everything's going on. Uh, another person, can you believe this? We've got every, every jack is on the table. I don't know, but it, it, it just feels like if this is about a relationship, you don't know who you want. Um, it's, it's just sort of like you've got all these different people and again, every Jack tells me this is 35 year olds and under. So you may, may be going out and there's more males than females at this function. Um, it might be a club, it might be a pub, it might be a get together for a birthday celebration, it might be a business celebration. Yeah, we've got finance on the table. I think that you've got job offers and I think you've got more than one. Um, one of them is slow to come to fruition. We have a married couple here and we have a married couple here. So we have two couples on the table separated by fun, love and things. So this could also be there is two separate people and then there's partners in the background as well. But you have the success and you have financial success and finan financial freedom. This is building for your future. This is also change of job as well. Um, I'm not really feeling relationship stuff here only because we do have the soulmate card in the middle but there's nothing else going with that. There's nothing showing me to do with a, a loving relationship or anything. There's just lots and lots of people. I just feel like you're trying to make a choice here. Stay at this job with these people where something definitely has happened but whatever this is, it's going out the window now and then it's sort of like all these choices are starting to come through. Um, if you're single, <laughs> I don't think you'll be single for long and I think like you've got a load of choices here. So I don't know if this is about a male or a female here or same-sex relationships or what it is. Um, but there's definitely a lot of communication going on with a lot of different type of people and it could even be that you feel like someone's, I just heard the word Jekyll and Hyde. It might be that you've had a bit of fun with someone um, they've been a bit impulsive, there's been a bit of love go on there um, and then they're all up in their head and then they're slow to do whatever they said they were going to do. So it's sort of like you might be getting truth and lies here but I am feeling like if this is to do with business, wow, new job, new opportunities, moving out of whatever you were doing into something looks pretty fantastic to me. For others you might be looking at houses apartments you might be moving you might be moving house wherever it is you're going it's a good choice because the star this is following your dreams your hopes and your wishes I, I must say that I really don't think it's to do with love and relationships any kind of relationship I'm seeing here is just a bit of fun um, it's sort of like going in and out of relationships with different people lots of talking with lots of people there is the overseas card so that would be internet communication as well where you're, it, it could be on a dating site as well. But I'm not seeing any kind of love where two people coming together forever. It, it's more of a, hi, how are you going? And a cup, cup of coffee, a bit of a drive, and then move on. Um, and then, hi, how are you going? My name's blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it could be work and this could be all the new people you're meeting, all different characters, all different things going on, lots of information bounding in and making big changes in your financial future. I do feel some of you are packing up and going. 
not just from your job, but you're packing up your house and user choosing to move. So there we have it. That is pile number three. I hope that helped for people. It looks like big decisions going on in um, pile number three, or it could be that you're just having a lot of damn fun. Be very careful if you are playing two fiddles or three fiddles or four fiddles here. It may be where someone finds out that you're doing that because this is the news card coming in and it makes change. And that tower, even though I said it's in the past, it could be something that's coming as well, that this is all going to come come to a head but you look like you'll be victorious in this situation anyway so that's all i have for february the 22nd to the 28th i hope that was uh good for everyone out there um and happy birthday if it's your birthday this week and i'll catch everyone on the next week